Good morning, Revenant Connection. Uh, I'm Jackie here in Oregon, uh, coming today with a word, not as the one I thought God wanted me to uh, speak out today, but last night I was praying and a rather uh, hard word came to me from the Lord. Now, I'm, I'm used to this because, you know, sometimes God gives me the hard-hitting truths in these words that uh, I get from him. And it's always for me first. And then, you know, for, for the rest of the body, I guess, you know, as I'm the the vessel here, you know. Um, so I was in prayer last night, wrote down the word. Uh, I woke up this morning, just I had two words. And I thought, well, maybe I'm not going to do a video today. Maybe I'm just going to wait on the Lord. And uh, I'm an early riser, so I've been up since before five. So uh, I really felt like the Lord is leading me to give you this word today. And I guess I'm calling it a warning. Uh, the other word, which is absolutely beautiful and encouraging, I guess I'll put that up, you know, either tomorrow or Friday. I do want to hit the headlines again one more time. So much is happening. But uh, I we've all been burdened. I know that uh, wars and rumors of wars and we know the last days are upon us and and just the financial happenings throughout the world. Right. Uh, there's so much going on. But um, I guess I really feel in the spirit that I'm to share this word today. And I'll read it over twice for you, you know, so it can penetrate your spirit. And then we'll talk about it a little bit and do some prayer today. And, uh, you know, God knows, God knows what we need to hear. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and read this word to you folks. And I've titled it A Warning. And the Lord says to his people, I am holy above all. My children, heed my voice this day. I come, with, I come with a warning to my people. Stay ever so close. Stay focused on me. Stay in my word. Life surrounds you in these last of days. People are suffering. There is much ahead coming for my children. Put aside any foolishness that takes your focus away from your Lord. I come saying to you, time is so very short. As always, I am. My will moves forward. I am your hope. What is written is, the, is truth to your soul. In that truth is your hope and my truth. So, little lamb, cling to your first love. You are in the hands of the Almighty. Glory and honor to my name, name above all names, and amen. So it's pretty powerful, pretty powerful word. And, uh, you know, not an easy word and not an easy word for me to, you know, receive and then to pass on to you, but a powerful word of God. And I know the Holy Spirit is in this. So I'm going to read it one more time for you. And I'm, I've titled it A Warning. And please, you know, share, send it to folks. I uh, subscribe to our channel. You know, we're growing. Uh, we're really geared towards a particular audience, you know, the remnant connection, the remnant that's hungry for the word of God. So I'm going to be obedient and let the Holy Spirit move through this channel. And maybe there won't be many of us, you know, but uh, we're going to be. Uh, here for the word of God and the truth of God. So let me go ahead and read to you a warning one more time. Uh, I am holy above all. My children heed my voice this day. I come with a warning to my people. Stay ever so close. Stay focused on me and stay in my word. Lies surround you in these last of days. People are suffering. There is much ahead coming for my children. Put aside any foolishness that takes your focus away from your God. I come 
saying to you, time is so very short. As always, I am. My will moves forward. I am your hope. What is written is truth to your soul. It, <clears throat> excuse me. And that truth is your hope and my truth. So little lambs cling to your first love. You are in the hands of the Almighty. Glory and honor to my name, name above all names, and amen. So um, that's the word for today. Um, I want to come with some headlines, you know, a little later this week, but I do have that one beautiful word that we'll probably do Thursday or Friday, but I guess maybe uh, I, I don't have a scripture for that, but uh, it just came last night and I've been praying about it all morning. So maybe we're just going to take some time and pray this morning and encourage you know, the rapture can come today. Uh, I was listening to some news this morning and the IMF, you know, was speaking about uh, the whole world. The whole world is questioning you know, the finances of the governments worldwide. And uh, we know Sri Lanka, Haiti, uh, Argentina, Pakistan, these these uh, governments are failing quickly. They're failed, actually. They're failed governments. And there are many following. In fact, the UK is in real trouble. Their, their pound is, is falling. So, this is a worldwide problem, and it looks as though the world, the scene is being set for the Antichrist, doesn't it? Because when things are in turmoil, uh, the Antichrist will come in with a solution, won't he? And uh, so we know God's plan is moving. I believe that uh, we will be raptured out of here before the Antichrist comes but there's a million different opinions on that you know there's a mid-trib and we won't even go there today but uh absolutely all of us know that time is short amen and this these failing governments and failing currencies it's just getting the scene the worldwide scene ready for the antichrist isn't it so you know we always end in prayer because you know what this was all written God's on his throne. His mercy and his grace is with us each and every day. His word to direct, his written word, and then the word that speaks through people just like myself and yourself, the Holy Spirit, and ministers to us in our own private prayer time. Amen. So let's just pray today. This will be one of our shorter videos, but uh, that was such a powerful word. I think it's going to get you to thinking and watching. Um, we are to be watching uh, for his soon return. We watch for the signs. Uh, I would uh, pray that we're all praying for discernment, right? That's a gift that, my gosh, we need in these last days. We need discernment from God, you know. Uh, to discern what's coming at us, the words of our government, uh, even some of the words in the churches, you know, we need a lot of discernment, folks. So be careful who you listen to. Go to God with everything. Um, go to God with what you hear on this channel, you know. Um, just line it up with the word of God. Amen. So let's just say a word of prayer and we'll let you go for today. Uh, Lord God Almighty, you are on your throne, Lord God. You are a good, a loving God. You are a God of justice. You are a God of truth and you speak to your people and you are alive in this, in these last days. You are a living God. You are fortifying the last day's army. Lord, we are equipped with the sword of the spirit, aren't we? And Lord, we just praise you and we love you. We give you glory. And we know, God, you are our peace. 
and we seek you in the morning and we seek you at night. And that peace that surpasses all understanding will fall upon us, Lord God. And Lord God, give us wisdom. Give us wisdom as to what we listen to. Uh, give us wisdom for our families, Lord God. Give us wisdom as what we hear and what's coming at us, Lord God. And Lord, um, we know that you are a giving God. And, Lord, you're going to give us all that we need in these last days, right down to our physical needs and our spiritual needs, Lord God. You're, you're, you're a giving God. And um, it's your desire that we are wise and seeking you and growing in discernment and growing in wisdom, Lord God, and clinging and clinging to the Christ that saves, the Christ's blood, Lord God. So, Lord, I pray for each one listening today. I pray that you go before them, uh, that your peace and comfort surrounded, uh, surrounds them and their loved ones, Lord God. And we pray that these words that you speak through this uh, humble vessel will encourage people and give them wisdom, Lord God, and cause them to seek you at a deeper, more meaningful level, Lord God. For time is so short as you spoke in that word. So send your people off today with a fire in their spirit, Lord God, and peace in their heart and love for those around them. In Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thank you, church. Thank you, Remnant Connection. Please share. Uh, please subscribe. Help us to grow. And God be with you today. God bless.